Today you will learn how to make this easy shortbread crust. It is perfect for puddings, pies, or even a cookie on its own. It only takes a few simple ingredients and not too much effort. For this recipe, you're gonna need an eight inch square pan or a 20 centimeter. And I'm gonna line it with parchment paper. It's pretty simple to do. I just kind of smush in the corners and then just fit it inside. Now you could go to the trouble and cut it and make it really perfectly aligned, but it's not necessary. You can also use aluminum foil, but if you do use aluminum foil, you'll need to spray it with a nonstick spray or coat it with butter to keep it from sticking. Once you have the parchment paper in the pan, you're gonna set it aside and move on to the next step. If you wanted to, you could trim up the edges, but I don't find it necessary. In a large bowl, we're gonna use one half cup of butter. It's four ounces. To that, we're gonna add in a third of a cup of sugar. That's two ounces. And if you want, you can use some flavoring. You can use half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, 2.5 milliliters, and then some salt to also bring out that flavor, which is about a quarter teaspoon or 1.25 grams. Now the salt and the flavoring is completely optional, but I found it really takes the whole thing up a notch. Finally, you wanna put in your flour, one and a quarter cups or six ounces. This is a really easy recipe to do. It's as simple as one, two, three, one part sugar, two parts fat, and three parts flour. If you have a scale, it makes it a lot easier. You want to stir this until it just starts to come together or looks like breadcrumbs like this. Pour this mixture into your pan and then just spread it out evenly. Use your hands and press it down firmly. If you don't wanna use your hands, you could use the back of a spoon. Once you get a nice even layer, you're gonna chill this for 20 minutes or even longer. Preheat the oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 150 degrees Celsius, and you wanna bake it until it's golden brown on the edges, and that's about 35 to 45 minutes. Now, if you wanted to speed up the process, you could bake it at 350 or 180C for 15 to 20 minutes. As you can see, this is a really simple recipe to do, and now you are ready to move on to your next step. Here are your ingredients if you wanna follow along. Thank you for visiting us at jacksonsjob.com, and as always, Happy baking.